Dollar Tree and this speaker is loud as hell and it's too hot. Let me at least Okay, I wrote that one and then I wrote this one down. I won't be in my car too long. Y'all, it is weeks, days like this where I am so grateful that I work from home because it has been a very trying last two weeks. Um, I've been having some upper respiratory issues. Both JB and I have been having asthma related allergy issues. And um, hold on y'all, checking my, check my messages. When was it? Saturday. It's been it's been almost a week. Saturday, I had a burning sore throat. I'm like, oh no, nah, let's just go ahead and block this right now. So I made me my ginger tea, my lemonade. If you kind of heard me in my last my last vlog, my voice is kind of raspy, and it still is some kind of raspy. And I know it's allergies. So I've been down in um, my ginger tea which I make, and I actually have a video on that that I want to sh share because I thought I was getting sick and come to find out it really has been my allergies. <clears throat> so coughing off and on. So I officially started on my nebulizer two days ago. I skipped it yesterday and I was not doing good. <laughs> so three days now on my Abiterol and um, I'm feeling better. It was feeling a lot better than this morning. I'm like 100% a little sluggish because I, I have so many medications pumping in my body because I'm taking my singular, <coughs> taking all my other vitamins and medications and pain medication every now and then because girl, got up, was getting ready at my desk, you know, doing some, sending out a last minute email and then I feel a sharp, intense pain in my lower region, my lady parts not just you know be uh explicit or anything and i know because i felt this type of pain before that it's a very assist so i'm like jb we gotta go we gotta go let me just go ahead and drop you off at school i get in my car i cannot drive the pain it hurts to sit down like this it was hurting so i was like i can't do it so I, my husband dropped him off and he's like i thought i told you <laughs> he's like i thought i told you to make an appointment with your doctor because last month was it last month and yeah it was last month I had horrible pain where we were almost going to go to the ER, but it subsided. And that's the thing with a variant cyst, at least for me, the pain will last maybe an hour or two and then I'll stop. But if it's still there and if they're, I guess, if they haven't disappeared, then you'll always have some type of pain. So anyway, I call my OBGYN because I already had an appointment on Thursday. I was like, look, I'm having some pain. I'm pretty sure it's ovarian cysts. Can you guys do an ultrasound? This rude ass helpful is like, well, we just don't schedule ultrasounds, but you can talk to, to the doctor and see if she'll do it for you. Yeah, so that's why I said I'm so thankful to be at home because if I was at work, I would have left. I would have been laid out up underneath the cubicle. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. So... <coughs> Let's go up in here, see what they have. They've been having a lot of cute LA colors makeup. We have to check that out. Ow, that may, that'll definitely put me in a better mood. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so y'all, to relax me, do something different, or not even different, I'm gonna go back to making some more bow ties. I know JB's about done with me, child. So lately I've been making these double Bow ties, aren't these cute? Very, very cute. Um, this one right here I have for him. I think it's a little heavy though, and I think it's because I put two of the centerpieces. So I'm gonna take one of them off. Also, it's a little bit longer. Um, sorry, you can't see this. Yeah, it's longer, so I think it's it's heavier. So I have this really, really cute. Um, didn't I make one like this too? Let me go back in the back, y'all, and see. I think I made one with this. This, it was cute, but it was uneven, so I'm gonna take it apart. And then I have, <coughs> excuse me, still coughing. I have a monster, isn't this cute? Which I think I could pair up. Even if I could do, no, that's too busy. Something like pairing it up with this, I think there's like a yellow or a line back there. See back there? Pair it up with this line. And I could even do that gray. And I have a white one here, a checkerboard and blue. See, I'm gonna make a couple more bow ties. Girl, I got the bonnet on early, it's four o'clock. Um, Y'all, two and a half weeks away from my surgery. Those of you who don't know, I got the clearance to get a breast reduction. My insurance will be covering it 100%, amen. What I wanted to do before the surgery is to get as healthy as possible because that way 
that will help with the healing process so for the past week no caffeine um i've been slowly eating a lot more vegetables and stuff so i juice i have a juicer i've had a juicer for like a year now so this is um a lot of stuff apples celery ginger oranges lemon spinach that's what gives it the green really good and what i found at my walmart have y'all seen this look at this Yay. detox is by white house sorry y'all detox organic apple cider vinegar with the mother lemon cinnamon honey on the back it says drink half a bottle in the morning drink half a bottle in the evening repeat daily for detox period now <laughs> He must drink this whole thing in one day. I cannot do that. I know I can't. So I'm going to drink this over the course of three days. Girl, there's just no way. Over the course of three days. Um, and after that, I'm going to be taking apple cider vinegar shots in the morning along with lemon water. I'm basically going to do no meat the week before. So we've got two and a half weeks out. This week, just focusing on caffeine, no caffeine, and reducing sugar. And slowly build up to where I'm doing 100% clean like a week before and yeah no alcohol at all right now no alcohol none of that so that way i can be as healthy as possible you guys and even afterwards making sure that i have um meals prepped for at least i would say for at least the first week i'm gonna have a bunch of meals prepped and maybe i'll show that um freezer meals and for me you guys that's disgusting to me i'm sorry because i love to eat fresh food and see maybe because i love to cook and that's part of it so that fact that i'm going to be freezing some meals i'm a little bougie when it comes to food so i'm going to open it up you guys just got a package in the mail from t thank you so much i've been feeling horrible for the past two weeks and just it's just been a rough two weeks. Y'all heard me kind of complain about it. I, didn't, I don't, I don't want to go down. You know, I don't want to do all that. So I'm going to show y'all what she got me. But thank you. Thank you so much. This means I actually started crying when I got it because I've just been having a rough. <laughs> JB was like, oh, he said, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> thank you, girl, so much. If you live next to me, do you live next to me? I would bake you a pound cake and, and make you whatever you want to eat, girl. And that's how I show my gratitude for people as I cook for them, which is, you know, something that I think I'm pretty good at. So let me turn this around. But thank you so much. And I don't... Open this. You better not open up my um, chrome strobing. Yes. How did you know? Do you see me that I be wearing this, girl? Just a second. I needed this. Girl, I, I needed another one. Yeah, she, she wrote on the note. Who says you can't have too much makeup? I don't know who says that. So here we have, what is this? Maybelline Precise Skinny Automatic Pencil. Then we have an NYX Love NYX Concealer. Yes, yes, I needed this. Look, the Holy Spirit is talking to sure her, you. speaking to her, the what is stuff I need. Um, Some mascara, two types of mascara. Oh, primer, I have never tried this before. Primer, mascara. And, and then we have here some primer mascara, regular mascara, and some strobing. Open. Yeah. Yeah, my mommy got a little teary out there for a minute, didn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and look at that, Alan. And you open it. He loves opening up packages. Okay, baby. I know I look crazy, y'all. This man, he, he is trying to look at this clip. I did a uh, chunky twist. He really, let me, let me show y'all what he's doing. Hold on, can y'all see him? Hold on. He's cleaning our pool. But do you see that he got my kitchen buckets? I t look, look, I told him, don't bring that stuff back in here. If, if you're gonna use that to clean the damn pool, don't bring that stuff back in here. I'm gonna buy some new Yeah, my baby school pictures came in. Hold on, I'm all zoomed. No, no, we can't be zoomed in today. Um. He is so, but he did his fake smile, but he is so cute in his pictures because they dressed him up. Look, I was getting it ready. You know, I'm old school, getting it ready because I'm going to give one to my neighbors who are almost like his adoptive grandparents while we're here. They're my neighbors who are from Paris, Texas, <clears throat> and I'm going to give two to my, um, to my mom, my parents. And so I was getting ready to write another one. He's like, oh, you're going to give that to a subscriber? I'm like, JB, I'm not Billy. <laughs> I'm not mailing your school picture to a, a subscriber. He started laughing. 
Y'all look at him. Here, let me see if I can zoom in. Look at him. He's so cute. So precious. I need to wash this patio. We had this floor put down a couple of years ago. Oh. Look at the floor, you guys. You guys. You need, no, no, no. You need to get down. Ooh. Okay, put a, put a piece of butter on top. There we go. Let me put a little bit of salt. Can't even see it. All right, then a little bit of chili powder, and then wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up like a present. There we go. I know. So here's my sheet pan. I'm gonna season up my chicken. Lay it on top of the oh, peppers. No, that's me, this is some a little bit of tomato, onion, cilantro. My tomatillos are in the oven, roasting at 400 degrees. They should be done soon. This broth mixture: tomatoes, onions, cilantro. Shouldn't put cilantro in there. Garlic. This is going tomato to be for my onion. Spanish rice. I have my corn salsa here. That, yeah. the corn is in the oven roasting. Y'all, I'm about done. I can just relax and let, and let everything cook. This is an uh, interlude from Jodeci's uh, Diary of a Badass Man. All right, y'all. Here at my doctor's appointment, let me turn off the car so the, the video won't be shaking. Um, here at my OBGYN, it is going to be a long ass day, girl. Long day. Got JB off to school. Um,. Doctor's appointment is at 10 15. It's 10 o'clock. I get here early because I, I, I'm gonna have to speak to them about the uh, customer service. I'm not kidding because that's that's a mess. Because what what has happened? The reason why I was having those every every woman gets a variant cyst. As long as you are menstruating, having your monthly girl cycle, you are going to develop a cyst. However, they're supposed to go away. Some women like myself, if I'm not on estrogen aka birth controls they won't so the reason why they didn't go away is because i didn't have my birth control pills because these ass tarts would not would not refill my prescription my pharmacy caught twice i caught three times and over a week after you've missed four or five birth control pills it's a wrap you have to start all, all over the next package i know tmi but i'm letting you know so i'm gonna let the uh whoever i'm seeing i think it's a nurse practitioner let her know that you know, I'm here to get a refill that you know how my, you know, the medication is going. But by the way, I have a very insistent. I'm in pain because y'all did not fulfill my, refill my prescription in time. So, yeah. Anyway, after that, I'm going to go see Tina and Tom. Go get my nails done. I broke my caffeine detox, girl. The weather here changed, you guys. It dropped considerably yesterday it was in the 60s we're talking about everyone's gonna be sick at this point i heard on the radio that it's gonna be a high of like 100 over the weekend how can you go from a high of 65 and then 100 in a few days we all gonna be sick so i'm still kind of nasally and it's all allergies so anyway after this going back up because i'm in scottsdale right now where no one knows how to freaking drive um and then I'm going to go get my nails done back closer to my house, go home, chill out a little bit. <coughs> Let this window down. Getting hot. My husband is getting the pool together. Or maybe I'll do that. I can put some air. And the pool should be ready by this weekend. Yeah, we may get in the pool, especially it's gonna be 100 degrees. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be ready. I got all my 500 floaties. I don't know how to swim. And even, <laughs> it's not funny. Even though the pool is only five feet, Need my floaties like we literally have about eight floaties <laughs> so yeah mm, what else going on today jb has a hair appointment so literally i will go be home i'll go back home around noon after i get my nails done go pick up jb early like a while around one and then um make our way out because if he gets his hair cut in the hood y'all 
I had to go to the hood and she's a lady barber. She does a great job. Um, they were really good last time. They watched their language and they put on some cartoons for him to look at. So it shouldn't take that long. The first time it took a while because she hadn't seen him and she had never seen him. So it took about an hour, but now it's been taking only about 20, 25 minutes. So, but look, my husband's like, He's been in a good mood this weekend. He's been in a good mood lately, I guess, girl. Because he's like, hey, why don't we go out to eat as a family again with JB? We haven't officially had a date night in almost a month, though. And I'm like, <clears throat> I don't want to be with JB. <laughs> I shouldn't be that way. I think that he wants to go together with JB because <clears throat> due to his schedule, he only sees JB when he's off. Which... He only sees JB twice a week, y'all. I mean, because he's sleeping. I mean, yeah. When JB's home Monday and Friday, he sees them. But it's only for a few hours, like two or three hours. And that's not a lot. So, he's like, why don't we just take him to, you know, our date night restaurant. I'm a little bit nervous about that because this is a really, really nice restaurant. Granted, I have seen children go in there. But rarely, I think maybe a handful of times. In the years we've been going there, which has been about seven years, I've only seen a few kids in there. Um, so he said, no, he'll be good. We'll just sit at a bar, at, not at the bar, at a booth, and I'll block him in. So he'll be good. I'm like, oh, God. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll do that. So we have that going on Saturday. And um, that's about it, y'all. But today's going to be fairly, fairly busy. Next week is going to be crazy busy. Um, it's teacher appreciation week so I have a lot of things I need to get together and thank you guys for telling me <clears throat> those of you who responded on my last vlog <clears throat> yeah I'm not used to doing all this stuff so I'm baking brownies and then what else I'm doing I bought some so every day they have some some type of theme every day for teacher appreciation and so I'm baking her brownies for sweet day and then I bought her some chapstick and antibacterial wipes <laughs> It was like a summer extensions day. I'm sorry, but antibacterial wipes or extensions. The dirt. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just hold the camera. Um, let's go schedule an ultrasound for next week because I told her that I'm having some pain from the cyst. Whew, girl. So let me go ahead and put that in my phone. I guess it's, you know, preliminary that they have to do a... a a, a couple of months after you being on a new medication, you know, you make an appointment to see a, basically a follow-up girl get to the point and so uh, <clears throat> She's like well the problem is that birth control pills increases your chances of stroke That's just one of the many um, Side effects of being on birth control pills. I say well, yeah, but she said well, you know you have options I say yes, but I can't get my tubes tied the doctor won't do it because of previous scarring tissue and I'm not getting an IUD y'all I'm I am never getting an IUD <coughs> and I'm not trying none of this yes Monera I'm not trying none of, none of this new stuff so she's like okay well as long as your you know your blood pressure readings are looking good as long as everything looks is okay then you can stay on your birth control bill I'm not gonna you guys so we just got out of getting JB's his his little haircut and now we are oh, going to know who that's sorry listening to miss delightful <coughs> now i'm gonna stop by and get him something to eat and we're headed home look i had some mexican food anyway i'm so greedy i don't need that um i was talking to my husband about what the doctor said and i'm like i gotta stay on the birth control and i said in one minute out of her mouth she's saying you know staying on birth control pills um, increases your chances of stroke blood clots however that's also for people who smoke let me put that out there people who smoke and that's for the higher estrogen i'm on a low estrogen one uh, but then out, out of the same mouth she says but it also reduces your chance of ovarian cancer and giving your family history i'm like girl i'm just gonna pray about it you know and, and stay on the birth control pills we ain't gonna do nothing else because they try they're trying to push on me an iud and i don't want to do an iud y'all let me know those of you who had iud's how you feel about it i don't want to do an iud i do not want to do that at all i don't want any of that so anyway enough of that girl we're gonna stay on the pill so we're gonna get pregnant uh so got my nails done miss tina found a color that i like and she saves it for me um it's like a cotton candy very neutral um yeah i'm gonna go get something to eat and this is gonna be a very long vlog 
heck there it go in my closet trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear for a family night girl this is so cute look at this spoiled brat is the name of this um, makeup <coughs> So look you guys, I've been thinking real quick um, about some videos I could be uh, doing for you guys, hair related videos after I come back in May. It is going by so fast, I cannot believe we're going to be in May, we, no we are in May. Um, I have the meal coming up, I have those three products and then at Jackie's and Jane Carter. Jane Carter is coming up but what I was thinking about doing let me know if y'all like this idea oh and I will be doing a giveaway but it's gonna be a different type of giveaway I'm gonna do a giveaway when I get to 20,000 subscribers and I'm hoping and praying I can get to 20,000 by the end of the summer so my giveaway is gonna be different though it's gonna be like maybe you want a makeup organizer like I have maybe you want a blender um it's gonna be more Cause I do since I do vlogging, it's gonna be more home stuff. I think that'll be cute. Maybe you want a lamp? Yeah, somebody you want a lamp? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be having a giveaway twenty thousand. That's not necessarily hair related, but home goods. Yeah. Um, Aunt Jackie's like I said, it's coming up in the summertime, and uh, Jane Carter, and specifically the Curls to Go collection by Jane Carter. And the only reason why I'm telling y'all this is because it's it comes fast we all know this so what I'm thinking about after I do those reviews and I think I'll be done with all that sorry I think I'll be done with those come August so I'm thinking about you know how when you type in on Google best uh, deep conditioners for 4a what if I went through and went to like you know did the same thing and found some so-called lists of best detanglers for 4c hair or not even category best best co-washes for uh, natural hair and what if I took that list and picked three or four and tested it out what do y'all think about that but still being mindful of what type of that as not the as I am the Aussies line left me with a bad taste in my mouth I really don't want to do any more reviews of store brought store bought products unless it's something that i'm familiar with like i'm okay with suave i'm okay with vo5 but i know can too has some new products out and i saw linda did a review of another line that had a new deep conditioner out and i just don't i'm not going to do it you guys i'm not and it's very affordable and it's easy to get sucked into that um because can too does have that apple cider vinegar wash girl I want to try but I'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it because I want to make sure that I'm using quality ingredients and products on my hair if there's something that you guys want me to review that you've been thinking about let me know so the series would be more so of oh I've heard great things about that I want to try it but you never have you know how you heard about like I've heard about the Obaya do they have like a bar soap is that the one they have a bar soap I've heard about honey child's I've heard about Saltanix. I've always wanted to try it, but I just haven't. So I'm going to take two or three products from those lines and review them. And it's going to be the most popular ones, okay? Because, you guys, I'm getting burnt out. Baby Girl has been doing this for six years. I don't think people realize how long I've been doing product reviews. Check my videos. Oftentimes, I'll get people say, have you done this? I would like to see you try. I've already tried it, baby. I've already tried it. Sometimes, I forget I try it, especially if it's a hair mask. And I've already, I've reviewed it twice. I have reviewed, I, I'm going to be uh, conservative, and, conservative and say, I've reviewed close to 200 products, if not more. Hey, you guys. Uh, it's a little dark in here. Let me do a, it's, don't the settings on my camera look fabulous? Girl, I spent most of the morning looking at YouTube videos and how to change the settings of my camera. Hopefully when I come back in the second half of the summer, I can get it together, but something has been off in my hair reviews as far as where my lighting is at, which is why you, you guys have been seeing me my past two or three hair related videos I've been filming in my kitchen because I feel like with all my expensive ass new lights and my DIY ring light, it's throwing everything off. So I'm pretty sure I need to change some settings on my camera when I have light instead of using natural light like I'm using right now. So anyway, girl, um, JB's getting my nerves and my husband's getting my nerves too low key. 
y'all it is so it's such a challenge to balance it all and i know a lot of us as women we wear many hats and you guys heard me say this time and time again i have to continue to have a balance so i will snap i think most of us are like that whether you have kids or not so um <laughs> jb has been up since 5 30 and that's a normal for him those of you who are not familiar my i have an early riser Yes, yeah, so yes, and I got up at five, so uh, I was up, and when he gets up, he's right on me. Like, there's no, because he's five years old, there's no going, you know, to his side of the, of the couch to check his email, none of that. He is on me physically. He is heavy. He's almost 50 pounds. So, he's been on me, he's, uh, and I, I'm just, I've had it. I've had it, I've had it, I've had it, so... Come 10 o'clock, my husband finally gets up because he works late, so he gets up late. And I tell him, like, I, I gotta go. I gotta get the house. I gotta go. And he made a comment, my husband, that is. He's like, you're overreacting. You know, there's nothing wrong with him. I said, let me tell you something. I said, this child has been extremely clingy. And he has. JB has been extremely clingy for the past, I would say, about two weeks. He's been all on me, extremely. And I said, I, I need some time for myself. This is me to my husband. I'm like, you get to leave the house nearly every day to go be around adults? I don't, ha I don't have that. Not only that, but JB is with me full time, four days out of the week. He's with me all the time when you're at work. He's with me all day. So I don't have that getting away that he has. So I'm like, I said, oh, so I'm exaggerating? All right, girl, I left the house for like three hours. So when I came back, they were gone. Is it clean? Yeah, look. Oh, it's pretty high too. Touch it. Oh, God, it's cold. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's the sand area. Look at that sand play area. Yeah, the sand play area that you just. They could clearly. I mean, I know they ain't ever scissor hands, but dang. Yeah, let me sit down and make these bow ties. So look. This oh, isn't this cute? Very cute with one simple band in the middle, and then you have a clip on the back here. Um, so y'all, I've been watching some new TV shows while um, working. I have to watch new shows while watching. Watch something while watching. I have two words for y'all. West World. Okay, really that's one word. West World is a, how can I describe it? It's about a theme park, virtual reality. What is that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Total Recall. West World is Total Recall meets Stagecoach. Wild Wild West. Some Django on Chain shit. I love the show. I've been watching that. And of course, Handmaid's Tale is back on. So yeah, y'all been watching that. Trying not to really pay attention. Look, I'm one of those type of people. I get my news from my husband. Because I do not like to watch the news. It depresses me. It saddens me. <clears throat> I like to stay up on stuff, of course. But I don't play into the, oh, look what the Kardashians did this week. I don't give a damn what the Kardashians did. I really don't. Yeah. No, we don't have any popsicles. Better look next time. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> you want some? You want some water, baby? No, I want some popsicles. Well, you got no popsicles up. Little water. No. Oh, time for a spanking. No. Look, JB. If you were back home in Texas, you we would have a switch tree with your name on it. I got, we got passports. I need to get, I need to get JV one. Get, get me a what? A passport. I don't want a passport. Mommy and daddy has one. You should have one. Why? Just in case. We gotta flee the country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I have a popsicle? They're making it hard for you to get passports too. I know my girlfriend was having a difficult time due to 
back back child support that was owed by her father and i was like oh girl what so yeah she was having a hard time renewing her passport i think mine comes up 2019 i, I need to renew my passport mine. they're making it they're, they're making it a little challenging to renew what's a passport it. a passport is a certain id you use to travel internationally so if i want to go to mexico i gotta have my passport do you still need your passport to go to mexico the one go to Canada, which is little little America. I want to go. I want to go to Ho Hawaii. I have been looking at other YouTubers, but y'all, I try. It's very rare that I unsubscribe to people. I'm just not that type of person. And so I was looking at one YouTuber whom I'm not gonna name drop. Girl, I'm not gonna name drop. And I hadn't seen her videos in a while, and I'm just like, mm. why are you so? I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I don't know, why are you so cheap? There's a big difference between saving money, being on a budget, and just being downright cheap. This woman is cheap. She's a well-known YouTuber. She has a variety of videos. She does outings, Can you give me some hauls, ice cream? cooking. Can you give me um, some ice cream? That's all I'm gonna say. Cause if I reveal in a minute, baby, yes I will. And if I say anymore, y'all gonna know who I'm talking about. But she's just doing too much, girl. I'm like, you need to. I don't think she works. She does these little side gigs, but I don't think she works. But it's like, but I still watch her because some of you know on the upside, some of her information does be good, you know. So I still watch her, but sometimes I don't. And that's the thing, you don't have to watch people that you don't care for. What? There's that big X button. I mean, there's that X, you know, that you can click and move on, girl. That's what I do, so. And can you give me the normal ice cream that I normal? No, he doesn't. Those are slip-on shoes. It's hot. storage unit is coming in a couple of more days. No! No, don't! Catch it! Let it go, let it go. <laughs> 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 Get you one more time. <laughs> no, don't tell me. Unless you get out, I'm gonna get you. No! <laughs> you, you better get out.